All right, welcome back to the Crabby Dice. Today we're going to do a full playthrough of Paperback, which is essentially just a huge mashup of uh, Dominion. All right, so it's a deck builder uh, and the markets up here and a word game because what we're going to do with our cards is obviously form words and the better the words, the more letters you use, the more money you'll have to buy better letters and to obviously buy the victory point cards out here on the right. And this is also the end game trigger when two of these piles are finished. All right, so my quick synopsis of Paperback, uh, it's probably my favorite word style game, but even then, I'm not a huge fan of word games because, you know, these type of games, uh, the better your vocabulary is, the more you'll win, and my vocabulary sucks, so I never win in this game, uh, but my wife uh, is pretty good at it, um, so there you go. All right, so let's get, not waste any more time. Let's just get started. So we do have a, our initial deck here of 10 cards. Uh, these red cards are going to be wilds, so you can replace it with any letter. Uh, and there's other uh, letters that you're going to have in your deck. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five, like a lot of deck builders. All right, you have your draw pile and your discard pile. So this is going to just be a two-player game because it plays pretty much the same at any player count. All right, you're going to look at your hand, and you're going to form a word. All right, now you're going to say, what are these red things? Again, these are the wilds. All right. All right, so you're going to see that I have uh, three wilds, an L, an N. And in this game, you can use the common letter. Okay, this is an important concept of the game. So you sort of want to build a word with this because it'll give you a coin. All right, because every, you can see right below the letters, every time you use that letter in a word, uh, it's going to give you the coins uh, that are here. And that's what you need to buy more cards. All right. So, for example, right now, all right, what I can do is I can build a word called long, L-O-N-G. All right. So I can use the L over here. So I'm going to have L-O-N-G. Boom. That's my word. All right. Whatever you don't use, you can just toss it into the discard. All right. So how many coins am I going to make out of this? I'm going to make one, two, three coins. All right. Now I'm going to look on the board. And what can I buy for three coins? All right. You can see here a stack of stuff that costs two, three, four, five, six, seven, and uh, this is eight through 10, I believe, or 11. All right, so for three coins, I can buy this card, this card, or this card. Uh, the twos are trash cards, but they give you money, so you sort of want to buy things that cost more than two, if you can. All right, so I got a choice of this T, which if it's, uh, let me just show you. If in the future, if it's the last letter, uh, of my word, I get plus one card for my next hand, which is not bad. Or I can take the ON. You know what? I'm going to take the ON. All right. There you go. Spend my money. That's going to go into my discard. And boom, I'm pretty much done. Let's refill the market. And we're just going to do the exact same thing for player number two. So one, two, three, four, five. All right. Let's look at his hand. And it looks like he's got a car. Uh, so for him, it's going to be very simple. I tend to not use these wilds unless I'm forced to because they don't give you coins. So it's not really a, a point of using them. So I'm just going to discard these because uh, the word I'm going to play is obviously rot. R-O-T. And this is also going to give me three coins. And for three coins, I'm going to buy... Um, let's see. If word scores $8 or more plus one card next hand, well, that's going to be hard to do. So let's grab a, a T. So we're going to have two T's in the player two's deck. Let's put that there. Let's replace. And let's jump back to player one. All right. So our deck has 10 cards. So now the next five cards we're going to take is the rest of our deck. All right. And next discard, we're going to shuffle and create a new draw st stack, like in most deck building games. All right. So let's look at our hand. Uh, let's see. We can use the O, uh, S, T. Okay. So let's just spell store. S-T-O-R-E, store. So how many coins am I going to get? One, two, three, four. All right, so what do I want to buy for four? Uh, E-D or N-T. Um, uh, let's buy E-D. Why not? Let's do that. All right, so now, like most deck builders, you're going to shuffle your deck. Give it a few cuts. All right, and... Uh, it is important if you're playing multiple players, always draw your cards uh, after your turn so that you can sort of formulate what your future hand or word is going to be while everyone's doing their turn. It makes the game move much, much faster. All right, so let's look at player two's hand over here. 
Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing is obviously you can actually get these common cards into your deck and they're worth a lot of victory points. Uh, and the way you do that is if you can make a word with these many letters, you're going to grab that card. All right, and then it's going to be 8, 9, 10. It's going to get more and more. And this is another way to end the game is if uh, you can make a word of 10 later on while well, you're going to get the last card and it triggers the end of the game. All right, so let's look at his hand. So we want to use the O. Uh, so I'm going to spell loans. L O A N S loans sure so it's gonna be one two three four also four coins let's look over here it's gonna get ST or NT let's just grab ST put that in the deck it's just that simple just go back and forth back and forth back and forth uh, eventually you can spend five coins here to get this or eight to get seven points or eleven to get ten points and there's only one of these so if you manage to get 17 coins, uh, you'll get a 15 point card, which is super impressive. All right, so let's go back to uh, the first player over here. Well, I already drew his cards. All right, I've been trying to make a word with these cards over here. <laughs> it's kind of difficult with what I've been given. Uh, I do have a lot of letters. Uh, can't really figure out a way to make a seven letter word. So I'm just gonna do, uh, uh, I think I'm just gonna do colon, C-O-L-O-N, sure. So that's gonna be two, three, four. Another four pointer, you can probably find a bigger word with what I have, but I can think of one. So that's gonna be four. Uh, I think I'm just gonna get a, an M. Ooh, if a word uses all my cards, I'll make an extra two bucks. All right, it's gonna go into my deck. All right, then I'm going to draw one, two, three, four, five to get ready for next turn. All right, I'm going to go to my uh, second player here who's got just a two cards with letters on. It's going to be pretty easy. Uh, let's just make the word uh, to toast. toast. There you go. Easy one. T-O-A-S-T. -A uh, there you go. So it's going to be three, four, five. Ooh, you got five. So you can go out here and get the wild. Or he can go out and get even a better card. Uh, uh, let's go grab. Let's go grab the point card. Sure, why not? Okay. Uh, that's gonna go to this card. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So back to player one. Let's see. What we have oh, not much. <laughs> Um, all right, so we got to do something with the O. Uh, so it's going to be, uh, uh, let me think of one here. All right, I think I have a wor good word. Uh, let's just write the word stoned. <laughs> S-T-O-N-E-D, stoned. So there you go. So that's going to be three, four, five coins. Um, so should I grab a point card like my opponent? So they're up four points to nil. Uh, or should I grab one of these? Um, sure, let's grab the... Uh, let's grab the R. Alright, that's going to allow me to make bigger words because it allows me to hold extra cards, uh, draw extra cards in my following turn. Alright, now you're going to see that I only have two cards left. So, like most deck builders, you're going to shuffle back your deck. All right, shuffle, shuffle. I am missing three cards to get a full hand. So we're just going to go one, two, three. And right, we're going to go to my opponent here. All right, for my opponent here, let's just do the word uh, runs. I couldn't really figure out how to use the O in the common letters. I mean, somebody can probably is screaming at me right now because they figured it out, but it is what it is. So runs is only three. Um, so let's grab a IN card. All right, that's giving me extra coins. That's gonna go for them. And again, they're missing three cards, just like us. So let's give the deck a shuffle. And let's deal one, two, three, back to them. All right, then we already drew. Let's figure out what we have. Whoa, only two, two, <laughs> two, two letters, so. Let's use the uh, uh, the O, so R, O, S, E, Rose. Sure, let's go Rose. Very simple, three coins only to buy stuff with. Uh, fast round, 
uh, get the an or the s um let's grab the an it does give me more coins going further all right so let's grab five more one two three four five right, let's jump back over to my opponent let's go look at their hand quick quick uh two t's and an l uh with an o uh lotto l o t t o the lotto sure that works uh, so that's going to be one, two, three, four with that. Um, so with four coins. Uh, this one's going to give him three coins. That's pretty good. So let's grab that one. One, two, three, four, five for his next round. And there you go. Very simple. That is the game. <laughs> You're just going to keep doing that back and forth, making words, getting your coins, buying stuff. And obviously the goal is the victory points on these cards are very, very important. Now let's see if I can grab one of those bigger words. Let's see if I can grab that. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Actually, if I make a word now with all these letters, including the O, I'm going to get that O in my deck. Um, so what do I have here? ED, I can end the word in ED. Um, uh, courted, is that a word? C. O U R T E D. Is that a word? I don't know. Let me check the dictionary one second. Yep, it is a word. So C O U R T E D. Uh, corded. Uh, so it's going to be three, four, five, six. I can spend up to six, which is awesome. Um, so let me grab this F, which is awesome. Gives me four coins. Uh, it's going to go in my deck. Um, and I get the O. Alright, because remember, I made a word with seven letters. Uh, so uh, that's going to go into my deck. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and with the O itself, seven. Alright, so let's grab five more. One, two, three, four. Looks like I'm going to have to shuffle this. Uh, one more. All right, now looking at my buddy's hand over here. Uh, quick, quick. Oh, it looks like we got a couple of, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I can use all these letters, he's going to get the eight. Oh, boy. Lots of S's and N's in this hand. Um, stings? Sure. But I'm not using the A or the stains. Oh, no, I can't put the A in there. Oh yeah, it is. I'm using the A. Stains, S-T-A-I-N-S. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, let's do that. Um, so I'm using there. So it's going to be three, four, five, six, seven to spend. I'm not using these two. Uh, so seven. <coughs> so let's grab the V, which is going to be four. Pretty good. One, two, three, four. Let's shuffle this. All right, I'm probably just gonna do like one or two more rounds because um, you get the gist of the game, right? All right, so I've been looking at my hand here uh, to make another word. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get a lot of vowels, um, so this is not gonna help. So what I'm probably going to do is just do a couple letters here. I'm going to do Talon, T-A-L-O-N, using the A there. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five coins only. Um, so now I can grab the wild here. Or I can grab another letter. You know what? I'll grab a wild. My, my opponent took one, so we'll be even on the points. All right, so I'll take that. Get another five cards. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's look at my uh, opponent's hand, and he didn't get many letters, a lot of uh, just uh, wild. So, uh, let's see, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, let's just do, uh, let's see, we need to use the A. So, we're going to do aren't. Uh, are you allowed to use apostrophes? Maybe not. Um, so, we're going to do uh, uh, rental. R-E-N-T-A-L, like that. 
so I'm using the A right here. Uh, so it's going to be three, four coins only. So let's grab a four pointer. So this is three. This is one. Uh, if this is the first letter in the word plus two coins, sure. Let's try to do that. Put that in there. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's look quick, quick over onto this side. Uh, ooh, the F. Uh, fame cards this turn costs a one less dollar. Those are the point ones. So let's see if we can actually make a word and get them. Um, so, ooh, I can end up getting eight. Let's see. I can end up getting the, 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 the seven pointer this turn. Um, if I use my cards, so let's go and spell, uh, uh, fouled F O U L E D. Yeah, sure. Fouled. Um, so it doesn't really matter cause I'm going to have exactly eight. So four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Now for eight. I can buy one of these seven cards or I can go right here for the points. I think I'm going to go for the points. Uh, double word or gain a card costing up to six. Now, you know what? Let's grab this. All right. One, two, three, four, five. All right. All right. Um, my opponent here, uh, lots of letters. Oof. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Um, you know, not to drag this video on too long. <laughs> I'm just going to spell vast V A S T. Uh, cause that's a lot of coins. That's going to be four plus three plus one. That's eight. And they're going to do like me. I'm gonna put that away. I'm going to grab an eight point card. So there's only two more of those and two more of these. So remember four more games. Oh, games over. So five. Uh, right there. All right, let's go to my hand. Uh, looks like I only got two cards with letters on it. Um, so doesn't really matter. I'm just looking out there what card I might want to buy. Uh, doesn't really matter. I'll do just do range because I want to buy a three point card. So R A N G E, yeah, whatever. Or ran. Let's see if it Look, ran. Well, that's a word. Three letters, three coins. So I'm going to grab uh, yes. All right, so I got two cards left. All right, I think this is going to be the last round that I'm going to show on camera. All right, so let me just shuffle this. So one, two, three. And last one for my buddy here, who again just has a couple of letters, so it won't be that exciting. Uh, battle. Uh, so. B A T T L E. So that's going to be one, two, three, four coins. And four coins is going to get the N G card. All right. So there you go. That's how you play. Again, just go back and forth, back and forth. Now, there is a sort of variant in the game uh, where you can use these sugar cubes if you need help uh, making words. You can give points to extra people. I don't play with this, whatever. Uh, let people do whatever word they want to do uh but there you go that's how you play you go until this that uh, two of these are um run out or this runs out and that's going to trigger the end of the game then you're just going to go through the deck and add up all your points that you have in the bottom right of your cards all right so that's it uh we'll see you in the next one later